Shalom, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Barakatha Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Habrakan Kodash. <clears throat> Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the hopefully elect. Brother Azariah with the Pittsburgh GMS camp, also known as Humble Intentions, GMS Humble Intentions. Um, and uh, I just want to do this lesson um, entitled Without the Most High, we are nothing. Okay. I just got some precepts here, you know, I want to go into. Just basically, you know, going into the scriptures on how, you know, if the Most High does not defend us, if he does not uh, support us, we are nothing. Without the Lord, we are nothing, you know. And so let's just get a couple precepts. Um, John 15. I'll start with I am the true vine, and my father is the husband. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away. And every branch that beareth fruit, he purgeth it, that it may bring forth more fruit. So when you get purged, it's like the trying, you know, trying uh, of your of your spirit. You know, let's see here. What does it say? It's that fire of adversity. And I don't want to deviate too far. I'm going to just get this. James 1, uh, verse 3. <clears throat> I've been having trouble with it loading up. As you can see down here, I got internet, but... You know I mean, yeah, it's like weird, you know. Other websites will load up, but yeah, I'm having trouble getting this. Uh, anyway, I'm not gonna go into it. But um, basically, the scriptures say, uh, knowing this, that the trying of your faith work of patience. So basically, I'm just going to, you know, read every branch that. Uh, so like you, John 15 and 2, every branch that is that in every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away. And every branch that bear fruit, he, fruit, he purgeth it, that it may bring forth more, more fruit. So basically, you get you get tried to see if you can. Um, bring forth you know if he can give you more wisdom verse 3 now ye are clean through the world which through the word which i have spoken you unto you so like abide in me and i in you so if you abide in yahweh shai if you have your foundation in yahweh shai and he's abiding in you you know and he knock at the door any man let him open unto him he will come and sup with him as the branch cannot bear the fruit of itself you can't bear the fruit of your own accord you are nothing unless Yahweh Shai, uh, uh, you, you know, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is in you, man. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine. No more can ye, except ye abide in me, in me, you know. So yeah, that's what it's going into. You can't uh, bring forth fruit unless you have the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai inside of you. Verse 5, I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abideth in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me, ye can do nothing. For without me, ye can do nothing. Without the, without you, how about you, how We're nothing, man. If a, if a man abide not in me, he is cast forth as a branch and is withered. And men gather them and cast them into the fire, and they are burned. Which, you know, that's just uh, allegory for being burned up in the missile and the nuclear destruction man by the missiles man verse 7 if ye abide in me and my words abide in you ye shall ask what ye will and it shall be done unto you so that's you know basically the point without Yahweh Yahweh Shai we are nothing you know let's get a couple more scriptures um Job 1 20. and I'm having to deal with just these little you know quotes I can't really get many uh up up or down you know as you can see for whatever reason stuff is not loading you know i mean it, it loaded enough for me to pull these scriptures up i pulled these scriptures up like not long ago but to do the full you know pull everything up situation is not really working so i'm just gonna work with what i got job 1 verse 20 then job arose and rent his mantle and shaved his head 
and fell down upon the ground and worshiped and said, Naked came I out of my mother's womb and naked shall I return thither. The Lord gave or Yahweh gave and Yahweh have taken away. Blessed be the name of Yahweh. You know, so the most high can give you. He can take away from you. You know, he can put you high. He can put you low. And uh, I don't know. Let me see. Did I pull this one out? First Samuel. Yep. First Samuel 2 and 7. The Lord maketh poor and maketh rich. He bringeth low and lifteth up. Without the most high, we're nothing. He's the one who who controls all these different uh, situations. Um, let's see. The, the race is not to the swift nor to the wise, you know, uh, but but time and chance happeneth to them all. You know, this also is vanity and vexation of spirit. So it's all in the control of the most hand. You could be very smart, you know, as has been seen with some of these um as as has been seen with some of these um uh, people uh homeless people pushing these carts you know some of them are very wise you know some of these uh addicts you know and you know ex addicts and uh you know people that live that are homeless are very wise um people you know but it's not to the swift or to the strong or to the wise but time and chance happeneth to them all so without the most high backing a situation or put or lifting you up to a certain situation or position you're nothing you know <clears throat> now God, that that doesn't mean that gain is godliness like i said it's not to like the scripture said it's not to the swift to the strong or to the wise you know you know most of the men of the lord are not going to be ballers you know but anyway next scripture proverbs 3 verse 5 Trust in the most high with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding In all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths, you know, so we have to acknowledge the most high and he will direct our paths. You know, we're not, you know, it's he's in control, you know, uh, oh, I think I got it I actually pulled up in one of these, you know what? It's not here. So like you. It's got to be in one of these. Matter of fact, I think it is one of these, but um, let's see. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Psalms 127 and 1. Except the Lord build the house, they labor in vain that build it. Except the Lord keep the city, the watchman waketh but in vain. So we're nothing without the most high, you know, like, like what happened in, in the book of Acts. The chapter slips me, but when they were talking to um, to the disciples and um, they were coming against them, I think I believe I don't know what chapter it was, but they were in um, the city where the the men were, you know, making their money off of Diana, you know, whatever. But either way, um, Gamilio stepped in and said, um, you know, if this thing be of the Most High, you know, let these men alone. You know, because if it be not of God, it shall come to nothing. But if it be of the most high, you shall be found happily to fight against the most high. You know, so just, you know, tying in with that uh, Psalms um, 127, I believe that was. I'll close that. Yeah, I closed it. Lock it. But yeah, you know, just keep let me just go blow through these precepts real quick. Internet's acting crazy. Uh, Proverbs sixteen and nine: A man's heart defi devises his way, but the Lord directeth his steps. You know, just going into the Most High's in control. You know, the things that happen. You know, is the will of the Most High. You know, Psalm seventy-three and twenty-six: My flesh and my heart faileth, but the Most High is the strength of my heart. In my portion forever, you know. So without the Most High, we're nothing, man. You know, the flesh will fail. Our our physical strength will fail. You know, so we have to depend on the Most High. He's the one who can can quicken us, you know, and uh, uh, give us the power to do certain things and sustain us, you know. Psalms 121 and one, I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills, from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from Yahweh, which made heaven and earth, you know? We're nothing without the Most High. 
Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Proverbs 19 and 21, there are many devices in a man's heart. Nevertheless, the counsel of the Lord, that shall stand. You know, the counsel of the Most High shall stand. It ain't about us. Without him, we're nothing, man. <clears throat> Isaiah 40 and 29, he giveth power to the faint. And to them that have no might, he increaseth strength. Nothing without Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. This, you know, wicked, feeble flesh, man. But the spirit of the Lord, like it says, I can do all things through the anointed, through the Hamashayak, or as the word says, Christ, who strengthens me, you know. Psalms 44 and 3. For they got, uh, for they got not the land in possession by their own sword, neither did their own arm save them, but thy right hand and thine arm and the light of thy countenance, because thou hadst favor, hadst a favor unto them. You know, hey, just I was showing you how the most high is the ultimate, you know. Psalm 3 and 1 Lord, how are they increased that trouble me? Many are they that rise up against me. Many there be which say of my soul, There is no help for him in the most high. Selah. But thou, O Yahweh, art a shield for me, my glory, and the lifter up of mine head. You know, the most high is the lifter up of our heads, you know. He's our he's our, our strength. He's our shield, you know. Without him, we had been, you know. We had been taken, man. We had been completely destroyed if it wasn't for the most high, man. You know. So yeah, I just wanted to do that quick lesson, you know. Um pray you brothers was edified, you know, call Halayim La, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Hawa Kakodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the hopefully elect. All right. With that, I'm going to say Shalom. And on to the next one.